My guy, my brother, my blood. You know, get waiting for from sky. We ground nothing carry. We have been through a lot, and we still stand strong. If you remember, together we overcame monsters, battled the darkness, and even survived loss. But we became unbreakable. Unstoppable. So, guy, shake off the bad vibe. Face the world with your full chest. Because this life, <laughs> forget you and me. Now we go run out. There is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. There is for Dik, remembering Allah, and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. There is for Zakah to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. There is for Salamun Alaikum. Peace be with you. Wa alaikum as-salam. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Ala ashraf al-mursali Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My distinguished viewers, listeners all over the world, you are welcome again to another edition of this enlightenment program. If you recall, we have been talking about, you know, towards the effectiveness of the management of an IPO, Islamic Philanthropic Organization. We have mentioned, you know, about four or five different, you know, characteristics expected of such an organization to make them to be effective. Uh, today, inshallah, by Allah's willing, we will also talk or dwell on some other, you know, characteristics as time will permit us. One of the characteristics that we want to look at to you know at this auspicious time is the independence you know of the IPO. Um, and by independence we are you know it means we are talking about the impartiality of the operators, the practitioners, you know, of the IPOs to either their donors or to their partners or to their beneficiaries or the other stakeholders where they are operating from in terms of producing a certain goal which has been set for them. And one is also required to produce policies that are not meant to favor certain sets of people and then to exclude others. This can only be done where such an IPO does not have a very strong you know, good corporate, Islamic corporate governance structure put in place. So one of the things we intend to mention here, which is very critical, is that the operators of that of this IPO, when they are crafting their policy, such policy should not be crafted based on excluding certain sets of people or favoring certain categories of people and then, you know, or also manifesting either directly or indirectly prejudice against certain people, either beneficiaries or either donors or either partners or either even some people in their neighborhood who are stakeholders in the organization. This is indeed very, very critical. If the IPO wants to be very effective and also want to be very efficient in the delivery of their services, which they are out to you know, implement and also the goals set for by themselves, which they also intend to achieve. And to do this, that is why there is need for them to be independent. The independence of the IPO, you know, from the donor, the independence of the IPO from their partners, the independence of the IPO from the beneficiaries, the independence of the IPO from the stakeholders where they are operating from, by not actually affecting their judgments 
and their disposition in terms of who benefits, who does not benefit, who do we favor, who do we, who, or who we do not favor. Because when they have this particular, you know, thought in their minds, there is no way such an IPO can be very effective. And that is why to encourage them, Allah says in Quran, in Surah Al-Fusilat, Quran chapter 41, verse 30, He says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزَّلُوا عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ Allah Meaning, the Allah says, indeed, those who have said our Lord is Allah, and then they remain steadfast on the right course which they are actually following, the angels will descend upon them, saying, Do not fear and do not grieve, but they will give them, you know, glad tidings of paradise, which is Al Jannah which you have been promised. Secondly, also, another important characteristic here is justice, equity, and fairness. Justice, equity, and fairness. By justice, we mean by placing things in their right food place, putting a thing in its right foot place without any bias, without any prejudice. Be it religious, social, or financial justice, as well as giving others Equal treatment. You know, this one is linked to the previous one. You know, as an IPO that wants to be seen to be very efficient and effective, we do not discriminate. We do not take the right of A and then give that right to B when B is not deserving of the right. Or we want to now, you know, give pre preferential treatment to C and A is actually in dire need of the services where we jettison it. This is also not going to be you know, something that will favor the IPO to become very effective. <laughs>
Allah, then be conscious of your responsibilities and duties, not only to Allah, but also to the stakeholders. Allah repeated this same you know, context in Quran chapter 4, verse 135. Then perhaps, if time permits, I will also take you know, another important characteristic, which is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness. If you look at all these characteristics, they are linked one another. They are linked to, you know, to one another, either you know in sequential or by you know activities and by you know responsibilities. Trustworthiness here is an indispensable tool that IPOs, that is Islamic philanthropy organization, must possess in order to be able to stand the text of time and still warm themselves into the hearts of their donors, warm themselves into the hearts of their partners, warm themselves into the hearts of their volunteer workers, warm themselves into their hearts, into the heart of the, even the beneficiaries where they are operating from. And that is why, to underscore the importance of you know, trustworthiness, keeping trust, which is a responsibility you know, Allah has given to the IPO, Allah mentioned in Quran chapter 4, that is Surah Al-Nisai, verse 58. What did Allah say? Allah says, Inna Allah ya'amurukum antu adul amanati ila ahliha. Meaning that indeed Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are due. So as an IPO, if we want to be seen to be very effective, we, ha we have to also ensure that, you know, we demonstrate practically you know, that we are worthy of being called a trustworthy IPO. In other words, we will give what is due to A to A, and we will give what is due to B to B. We will not take the due right of C, and then we will not give it to A. When we do this, then it is going to affect not only our reputation, but not only our credibility and integrity, but it's also going to make us not to be very effective and efficient in the way we run the IPO. So it is very, very critical that we must also be, be, you know, be conscious of ensuring that, you know, trust, which is a minor, given to us by Almighty Allah, we keep it and we do not betray it. We keep it and we do not also, you know, you know find ourselves wanting in it. There is for Deen, Al-Islam, religion with Allah since time began. There is for the remembering Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan That is for zakah to cure our greed When we give our money to those in need That is for salamun alaykum Peace be with you, alaykum as-salam